Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at WayneSound.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access and use the Time Machine feature in Logic Studio. This is gonna enable you to change the tempo of any audio region within your session. Let's check it out. This is my example right here, and I'm going to be changing this track at the top, which is a quick audio drum take. I'm gonna be matching it with the, the key loop that I set down here. And I'm just gonna play this example for you really quickly so you can hear how it they don't quite match up tempo wise. All right. So now the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is double click on the audio region that you wanna change the tempo of. Now the sample editor window is gonna pop up at the bottom. Once that happens, click on factory, then select time and pitch machine. Now this window comes right up. And now where you see under destination, the BPM right there, this is where you put the tempo. And now the one luxury that I have with using a loop is I know the exact tempo that I want to change it to. So I'm just going to type it in. 136. And now you're going to type in whatever tempo you want to match it to. Then uh, once you've done that, simply click process and paste. All right, I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second. And now let's listen to how it sounds now. All right, so sounds closer, sounds closer. Maybe the German wasn't up to par, but regardless. And if you don't have the luxury of, um, of using loops and you're doing a bit of a trial and error tactic for this, if you don't like exactly how that matches up, simply undo by using the key command, command Z, and now type in the next one that you want to try. I'm going to do 140 BPM. Same thing, process and paste. You can always get in touch with Chris at wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at wingsound.com.